right, today's the big day. We're doing a blood draw. We're gonna see where my testosterone levels are at after four months of being off everything with no post-cycle therapy, etc. So, got my lab court paper here, and we're gonna do a um, total testosterone draw, LCMS, mass spectrometry. So, make sure to get the LCMS whenever you get your testosterone checked, and you wanna check if your gear is potent because it doesn't cap you off at the 1500 nanograms per deciliter. It tells you beyond that what your true level is if you're on 900 milligrams a week, etc. So some bodybuilders mess up and get the wrong test. So here we go. Let's see how pathetic they are. Just one whole new little test, huh? That's it. Awesome. Okay, so we have my testosterone results, and I'm going to go over them right now. Um, my total testosterone level, guys, is 71 nanograms per deciliter. Very low. That's female level. So here we're going to show you it. Mm. 71 low. Range is, of course, and it all varies on the test, but 348 to 1197. And I'm at 71. So I'm like four times below the low normal where you get prescribed. However, we just got, I arranged the doctor's appointment. I wanted to get a, a primary care physician now that we just moved and someone that was hopefully comfortable with uh, helping my condition. And lately, to be quite honest with you, my memory has been terrible. I lost our car key at a grocery store where we were like crawling on our <laughs> knees around the grocery store for like four hours till Actually, 3 a.m. I had to walk. Yeah, it was bad. My brain yeah. is just my I mental. I had to walk down to the grocery store at two, like midnight, by myself, and meet him and try to anyway, find our key. <laughs> my mental clarity and my cognitive uh, function, everything's just been off lately, and and it, I'm sure it now has to do with the low testosterone. Um, even my moods. I mean, I'm. You want to talk about when people talk about roid rage or like, oh, no, no, no. It's the opposite. Whenever your estrogen's high and your testosterone's low and you're going through almost like andropause, a low testosterone, that's what I'm raging more than I ever have. I mean, I, one minute I want to cry. <laughs> which is Next true. minute I want to put my hand through a wall. Then I'm, then I'm happy and I'm thankful, which, you know, I need to be all the time. But I'm just up and down. So I went to the doctor. We're just getting back from the visit. Great guy. Very nice. I'm not going to say anything negative about him. But whenever you go in to get treated for something like endocrinology, you want your person that's helping you to be more versed well versed on it than you are so you feel comfortable with an expert and some of the things he was saying I'm, I wasn't totally agreeing with um, he wanted to just prescribe me either a testosterone injection but once every two weeks so anyone that knows anything about a cypionate depot you want to at least do it at least seven days or twice a week to keep your blood levels stable because they will dip after six days so if I'm doing it every two weeks and he didn't want me to split it up and do the same dose but smaller. He just didn't believe in that. Um, and the doses he wanted me on were like uh, 25 milligrams a week of cypionate. And then the test cream, if I want to do that option, he wanted me to get my testosterone levels to 200 or 300, which is still below... Actually, 250. The, 250, so it's still hypogonadal. So he wanted me to go from 71 to 250 and, think, and thought that that would be an improvement. But what I want, what everyone else would want, would be that 500 to 700 range, just like a normal 30-year-old male, okay? He wasn't really wanting to do that, and he kept saying that with that source of putting me into the 200 to 300 range, I would somehow still work endogenously and produce my own testosterone somehow, which is not true because an exogenous source will suppress the pituitary. And he thought that maybe with me doing a microdose that I'll still produce and be normal six months down the road, and I can just be normal in the 300 range for the rest of my life. But... I don't want to be in the 300 range. I'm sure you at home don't want to be in the 300 range. I want to be at that 500, 700. And then he also didn't want to st uh, do Clomid or HCG for fertility and spermatogenesis, stimulation, all that stuff. So it was a great guy. He's very good. I'm probably going to stick with him for my normal liver checkups. So I'm going to do an ultrasound on my liver and kidneys and whatnot. However, for hormone, I need a specialist. I need someone that is more uh, well-versed than I am. And I need someone that will aggressively treat me to put me in that really confident, great, male range of 500 to 700 and so now we're probably going to perhaps pay out of pocket and not have our insurance cover it but you know what that's totally worth the quality of life and and me feeling better and not being a jerk to my wife all the time more so than i ever have <laughs> that's true I don't know I mean, we went clothes shopping uh, matt wanted to buy some clothes that felt like he fit him better 
I went from and I'm, I'm putting all my <laughs> triple XLs, all my double XLs are depressing. They're like loose. I'm going down to like a, a super medium, ultra medium <laughs> tight He's shirts. He's getting now. To XLs and they they're still a little tight on him, um, but he refuses to go double. So we did go gro clothes shopping the other day, um, and then one minute he would be angry and want to go home, and the next minute he wanted to go to 10 more stores. So... Why don't I just go with my feelings, how I've been feeling, what my results too. Sure. So I might as well touch base on how my progress has been. I know I posted the first phase one where I went over cooking stuff. However, that was like three or four weeks ago, and I've been busting my butt ever since then with cardio 40 minutes a day, which anyone knows me, I never do that. And it's been really, not crazy intense, but it's been intense cardio for me. 40 minutes a day, my carbs have dropped even a little bit. Um, guys, I'm not seeing any progress, okay? I think, move your thumb. I think the metoprolol, which is a beta-1 agonist, or a beta-1 um, antagonist, it blocks the beta-1 receptor selectively. Um, it, it's slowing my heart rate down to like 45, okay, chronically. When I do cardio and I'm huffing and puffing, I'm like 90 capped. It's like putting the brakes on my metabolism. Plus the low teabing at 71, I'm literally storing asparagus and cucumbers into my lower back. I swear like I'm converting vegetables to body fat. I haven't cheated. I'm, I, I'm paranoid to eat anything extra credit or enjoyable because my fear of just the way my body chemistry is. So like I'm literally so frustrated. My abs have gotten worse and I've done more than I ever have. I'm being more strict than I have on contest prep that I've done for the last 15 years of my life or 12 years or something. I'm more strict now and I'm getting somehow fatter. It's like my muscle cells are batting away nutrients and swatting it away <laughs> and my fat cells are just are tugging it in. And it doesn't matter if it's a, a carrot, a spinach, or, or a piece of, or a stick of butter, it's storing in the, my lower back and my abs. So I'm very frustrated, but I'm being raw, candid, real with you. This is what I'm going through. We're gonna try to fix it. I know I said I wanted to do this no testosterone, no PCT, but whenever you're at 71 and people have been messaging me, I've told some people in private, they're like, Matt, that's also unhealthy. Even though you're trying to be stubborn, you want to prove a point, that's just unhealthy for even cholesterol and lipid levels, your, obviously your brain, your mental health. So yes, I'm going to try to get treated just to be a normal. I'm not trying to be the old bodybuilder cruising on 300 and have my levels 1500 plus. No, I just want to be normal 500, 700 feel like the light switch is turned on again because it's I've been like it's been dark and the light switch has been off like my whole life has been changed since this so now we're gonna find another uh, a specialist here and we will keep you posted on that but I had to give out this little spiel to let you guys know where I'm at right now all right we are grocery shopping right now I have to make a little mini grocery store run stock about some veggies and some muffins from Trader Joe's right now so we're just getting some broccoli florets all frozen some Trader Joe's green beans, and my favorite, asparagus spears. So the thing I like to do with these when they're frozen uh, is put them in my wok. And I like to wok them with like obviously a little bit of oil to grease the wok, but then add in some uh, soy sauce, and you kind of, kind of is like a stir fry, so it just tastes better. That's, you know, what we're doing. And then, of course, I have a variety of, of my mixed greens, my kale, so I'm still having that in the morning. My first meal, my carbless meal is gonna be the salad. And now, um, we made a change to the juicing regimen because I was doing it in my Vitamix. But of course, like I said, my uh, meal breakdown video, it was just sitting too heavy in my stomach. So we're doing a lot of cucumbers, a lot of celery, and yes, some carrots, even though there's starchy sugars in there. Just because the juice system, I come to find out, which I'm not familiar with one, clearly, because I tried it the other night, and you really can't do things like kale and stuff because there's not a lot of juice in there, so it's a wasteful uh, process. So you gotta do things that are uh, really uh, hydrated with fluid inside the actual vegetable. So there's gonna be a lot of cucumbers and celery for my nightly juice, and the muffins. So I'm gonna, these are, last time as you guys saw, in the last seg segment, it was the mini cakes. These are the same thing, they're just bigger size, so I don't have to do two of them, I can just do one big muffin. Once again, the whole muffin is five grams of fat, so this is a half serving, so I'll do a whole muffin. So five grams of fat and about f uh, 38 grams of carbs. And, you know, guys, these are, these are great. They aren't like amazing like Costco muffins or anything. These are healthy, they're a fiber choice and they're alternative to my steel cutouts, like I mentioned. And it looks like we're also going to be adding 
lemons and limes to our juice regimen at the end of the night. And uh, of course, it keeps the you alkaline and it's just a, adds overall flavor to the, the juice. So that is our grocery store run for right now. Not a whole lot, but uh, you know, and what I'm gonna do is the muffins. I'm gonna, I store them in the freezer so I keep them frozen obviously to, to hold the shelf life on them. And that's it. All right, Saturday night, free meal, cheat meal night. And lately I've been doing all you can eat sushi just about every Saturday because I'm a wuss and it's clean and I don't get the mayo because I'm putting on body fat from vegetables. My metabolism, my low testosterone sucks. So tonight I'm actually just gonna say screw it and we're actually gonna warm up at a place before the sushi called Cousins Maine. Cousins Maine Lobster. Cousins Maine Lobster and it's like a food truck. Well, I'm sure most people have seen it. It's on Shark Tank all the time and they have a truck here so it's at the brewery this weekend so we're headed there. Okay, so we're gonna go to the lobster food truck cart and I am going to try to get something somewhat healthy because like I said, I'm just a freaking wuss. I'm not gonna ingest a bunch of fattening crap. So hopefully they won't have too crazy of sauces on there. But I'm very excited about the menu because lobster's delicious. Who doesn't love lobster? And then we're going to finish off the cheat meal night at All You Can Eat Sushi. But we might uh, switch it up. Which one are we going to? Which sushi All You Can Eat? I like... We got, we got like we 10 might. options here in Vegas, so... More we, than that, but we might try one, a new one, but I kind of like the one by the M Resort. The one by the, oh yeah, I wish I knew the name, they're all so similar. Your tacos, sauce on the side. Oh, maybe not. Oh well. Just eat it. They put it on. Oh well. I'm gonna load it up. And what's this, Rachel? Lobster roll. That looks legit. What is that exactly? Is that Lobster like a roll with butter? Oh, with butter, of course. And clam chowder. I'm gonna dump some uh, Louisiana hot sauce on here. All right. I'm gonna take my first bite. I got the lime, squirting it over the taco. And honestly, I'm a bad judge because I'm so hungry and starving right now that anything's gonna taste good. Let's see how the lobster taco tastes. Better than a fish taco. And it should be, it's lobster. It's delicious. Awesome. How's that lobster hot dog? <laughs> it's definitely a hot dog. What's the bread? I don't know. Is it just like Texas toast or what is that? Either way, it looks amazing. All right, guys. Cousin's Main Lobster is legit. Here we are. Umaya, is that what you pronounce it? Sure. Umaya Sushi. We love this place. It's like one of our favorite places to go because the service is freaking incredible. They have like 12 people on staff and all 12 of them are popping up out of tables and little places asking if your drinks need a refill, if you need an extra roll, if you need this, that. So like we love the freaking... An extra roll? An extra roll. Oh, a roll. Yeah, they're on point. So here we go. I'm going to get my refills on and have fun. Here's round one. Tuna pokey. Got the raw tuna pokey. And then some random roll that I really, I don't even know what it is. I'm, I just ordered it on accident, but I'm going to eat it anyway. And then, of course, your nigiri. It's a fire roll right there, guys. Jalapeno on top with sriracha, avocado in the middle. Super spicy. That's legit. So that's called the kiss of fire. We're liking that. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Yeah? I stopped my nightshade thing for a little while. 
If anyone's familiar with uh, the nightshade family, that's a class of foods that uh, has the eggplant, all potatoes, all peppers. So anyway, Rachel was doing the whole. Is it on your phone? No, I don't see it. The whole anti-inflammatory thing with reducing nightshades because she had an inflammatory condition. So for about four or five months, she wasn't eating anything with tomatoes, peppers. Uh, potatoes or eggplants and that is pretty much everything has tomato sauce in it but now she's back in action just night shading it up and flaming it up We're gonna, I'm gonna cut that out soon again right we've noticed some I do have an autoimmune issue that I need to handle we did notice some um, improvement from cutting out the nightshades for five months but it's still her, her condition was still happening slightly so we thought that maybe she was so wasting I her time really mad and gave up how could you not resist, or how can you resist beautiful <laughs> tomato products like sriracha and pizza and all that stuff? Well, I can resist it, but I'm kind of not normal. But anyway, ooh, Mitch looking good in the background. Just joking, Mitch. All right, we got the sexy roll and the tataki roll here. And I don't even know what it. I already forgot what was in it, but it's delicious. Obviously, anyone that knows me whenever I order, I don't order a lot of things with like mayonnaise and uh, crab salad or shrimp salad. Everything's really like nigiri based. Um, there will be some avocado since I'm having a little bit of a splurge, but I try to keep the sushi pretty uh, hearty and You're plentiful. The one ordering sauce. I'm ordering a little sauce. All right, guys, I think this is the last round. They followed directions perfectly without a pen and pad. She remembered to do the no crab or no uh, crab salad here. And then of course, I believe no avocado here. Her memory is sharp with the salmon sake nigiri. While Rachel chills on her soup there with our 10th diet soda refill. So we're gonna wrap this up. I don't think I can take any more of this. And you can't leave any of the rice or the sushi because you will pay for those extra over the sushi all you can eat price. Thank you. Yep, thank you, sir. All right, guys, post-workout. Just got done doing chest at the Las Vegas Athletic Club on Eastern. Um, little rearrange of scheduling today. Rachel had an appointment uh, at 10.30, so I actually trained today fasted. I had an intra-workout drink, of course, with amino acids only. I more errands to run. I didn't pack my meals. So fortunately, Las Vegas Athletic Club is equipped with a nice little nutrition center where they make blended smoothies and then, of course, healthy meals. So... As you can see, there's a nice menu and a wide variety of different products. And I actually got just a uh, chicken teriyaki bowl. Of course, my first meal is carbless, so I had to remove the rice and they added extra chicken. So it's just chicken and I believe there is broccoli, a medley of broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. So about eight ounces. And uh, basically now what we're gonna do is we have to run some more errands. Uh, I'm probably gonna fill my prescription for the testosterone cream just to have. I'm not gonna take it yet until I go to my uh, follow-up appointment at the second doctor, which I did blood work yesterday. Tested LH, FSH, uh, prostate, uh, DHT, etc. So the, my next appointment for the, for the knowledgeable doctor is actually in two weeks. So hopefully he'll see how pathetic my test levels are and decide to prescribe me an adequate dose to put me in that great optimal range. Uh, so that's that. Uh, you know, just to report, I'm, I cut my carbs from this phase or from the last phase and I've dropped the weight. But I honestly feel like it's I'm just dropping muscle and I'm almost freezing or pausing the body fat because now I was 223 this morning and I've been waking up usually at 228 and then at night I'm 233. Now I'm at night maybe 228. So I've dropped like five pounds but I don't necessarily feel tighter at all. I just kind of feel like I'm deflating a little bit. So I really got to get these testosterone levels on point and in check. So I just got to be patient, but it's very frustrating, you know, in the gym, whenever you're working out and you really can't find a pump, let alone I was training faster, but I do have an intra-workout drink with adequate fluids. So I should get somewhat of a pump, but you know, it's kind of a, my pre-workout uh, mixture today was pre-workout blood pressure med med medication. So that wasn't your best uh, concoction there. So just giving you guys an update. All right, we were out late running errands tonight, and whenever I pulled up the driveway, I noticed I had some packages at my doorstep, and I'm gonna go pick them up and explain what they are. So let's go see what's at the door. 
Icon Meals, guys. Meal prep company. Basically, this week, I've been very preoccupied with a lot of work, a lot of new MPA supplements releasing, my weekly client emails and doctor's appointments. So I didn't want to spend three hours to cook like my uh, last phase. So I have been using Icon Meals now for about a year and a half, two years. You might have seen me mention them on social media. Wonderful company based in Texas. They ship all over. They ship within two days. And you're going to see it's uh, cold pack. It will stay literally cold as is without unboxing it for like two days or more. I've tested it, but I always recommend doing it in the, the refrigerator, putting it away. Um, basically, there's going to be some weeks where I'm going to just give in and have a meal prep company cook my food. And, and I just had them cook my vegetables and protein. I'm going to do my own carbs because I do some new carbs, which I'm going to show you now in my updated phase. And uh, this is Icon Meals. Let's open them up and kind of show you what they're all about. Here we are, next phase. Made a lot of change, well not a lot of changes, but I made some substantial changes due to my extreme frustration, due to my body just not doing what I wanted to do, guys. This is like a whole new world, whole new territory for me. It's like I'm coaching myself. This is I'm coaching a new client myself. This is a body I've never had. My body chemistry is messed up, my hormones are completely out of whack. I'm a puzzle piece that I'm trying to diagnose and it's kind of a trippy thing to do, but. I'm my hardest client right now. So my body hasn't been responding, okay? Um, the 300 and I think it was 312 grams was the last phase you saw. I'm not getting any leaner from what I can tell. And, and in fact, I think from my low testosterone and then the, the beta blocker, I feel like my abs, everything is like getting worse. Like I'm partitioning nutrients to adipose tissue. My muscle cells are just not accepting any type of glycogen or anything. I, I just, not a good thing, but I'm, I'm very, uh, Tenacious and I'm gonna keep going so I made some cuts nothing too crazy I don't want to just the real the diehard in me wants to go to zero carb two hours of cardio and I'll do that Trust me like you might have seen videos where I eat 800 grams of carbs and do no cardio I want to work hard, but I actually didn't need to do it back then I didn't want to hinder muscle uh, my muscle gains and all that stuff So I didn't need to do cardio, but if you would let me work three hours four hours a day I'll do it. I work very hard, but I got to be careful. So right now here are the changes that delicious turkey bacon, that stuff I was frying outside on the skillet. I'm gonna cut that. Basically, I was having that with all uh, four out of five meals. I was having one slice of turkey bacon. Right now, I'm just gonna now have it one slice of my first meal of the day, which is still the salad, okay? It's still the eight ounce chicken and green salad with one slice of uncured turkey bacon. That's it. There's no more other slices throughout the rest of the, the prep now, okay? So, next, uh, post training. Once again, here's the Icon Meals, just for reference. This is the tilapia, eight ounces with asparagus, no carbs. This is the chicken, beautiful grilled chicken breast, eight ounces, asparagus, no carbs. And opposed to the tilapia, we got a variety of white fish, so the cod, eight ounces with asparagus. So post-workout, I'm either gonna have, okay, there, there's a substitute option here. My good old True Nutrition micro filtered whey isolate, okay? French vanilla, they brought it back. Looks like uh, True Nutrition was doing birthday cake for a while and I just didn't like it. I love plain vanilla, I'm just boring. And they have it back and it's delicious. So I'll either do two scoops of this or eight ounces of white fish, one of the two. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna have with this for carbs is I'm not gonna have the white rice anymore, okay guys? I was doing white rice for years, I did great with it. Um, I just, my blood sugar is pretty much chronically elevated from what I can guess from the metoprolol, the beta blocker, okay? So I need to do anything that I can to keep my blood sugar somewhat stable, so I'm not going to do white rice. Brown rice is a no-go too because there's a lot of anti-nutrients in them. There's phytic acid in brown rice, so that's not the best option either, and it's debatable how much the glycemic index differs from brown to white. These are Trader Joe mini muffins. They're 22 grams of carbs and 12 grams of fiber per cake. There's no sugar, so they aren't like a, a super treat. But the profile's great, the glycemic index is very low, so I'll bring these out. Okay, Trader Joe's Blueberry Fiber Mini Cakes. Total fat, one and a half grams for one, 22 grams of carbs, 
and a nice big whopping 11 grams of fiber. Here's what they look like. Fiber, just grains of fiber. This is, this is uh, very healthy. And I will interchange this with either, or actually it'll be this post-workout, the three of these for 66 grams of carbs, or steel cut oats, okay? Steel cut oats are far down the totem pole as far as the processing um, procedure, and they aren't processed nearly as much as rolled oats, and then of course quick oats. So it's right after the, 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 the groat form of them. And it's, it's like a cluster, if you had still cut out, it's almost like a, a, a kernel, it's not like a flattened flake. And basically what I do is, I'll cook four servings at once in my big pot here, okay? And I actually measure it cooked. And one cup is about 27 grams of carbs cooked, so I do two, two cups is about 55 grams of carbs. And the thing is that I like about still cut oats as opposed to white rice, is that this 55 grams of carbs is so much more satiating than that two cups, which is 90 grams of rice. So 55 grams of carbs feels like a heck of a lot more to my system than the 90 grams of rice. And it's just, you, you almost have to eat it slow. You can't really mow it down very well, and it's just you savor it. And I like this, and it's cold portable, okay? I think Jay Cutler used to do this too. He would put it in the, free, the refrigerator, and I'm going to do that, and it gets kind of solidified, and you can just break it up and eat it cold. Portable's key for me with my busy schedule. So that's great. So it's either the muffins or the oats, post-training, no more rice. Okay, now meal three, it's still the eight ounce chicken, okay? Either from Icon or myself on the grill. And it's, and it's still the sweet potatoes. It's still the yellow, the light flesh sweet potatoes, but not 14 ounces anymore, which is 84 grams of carbs. It's 11 ounces, okay? So now I reduce the carbs on that one to 66 grams of carbs. Um, after that, I'm going to repeat it again, same meal, 66 grams of carbs with the chicken. Um, and then my final meal, we're going to go over that later tonight when I do it. And I was using the Vitamix for the juice, or the, the juice smoothie, the green smoothie. However, after the last week, what I'm realizing is with the, with the Vitamix, it's, it's basically not uh, a juicer, obviously. So I'm getting all the seeds, the fiber content, and I'm getting such a huge influx at once it's detoxing me so well that I'm having, I'm basically going to the bathroom all day the next day. So we're actually gonna bust out the juicer, which is gonna actually extract all, get rid of all the fiber, so it's not gonna bog down my GI tract, and we're gonna juice it instead of Vitamix it. That is where, where we are at right now. Uh, I do the Icon Meals, like I said, wonderful company, guys. For, with my coupon code, I do have a coupon code, uh, it's MPA10 at checkout, and it'll bring a meal, let's say you do a six ounce protein source chicken, plus a vegetable and a carb, it'll be around seven to eight bucks, okay? And, and whenever you think about driving to the store, cooking, prepping, all that stuff, and messing up the kitchen, sometimes it's a great relief to use a meal prep company, and they are MPA approved. I love this company, and I'm gonna use them from time to time, and you're gonna see that, so. All right, here's the final meal, and we changed it from a green smoothie to a green juice, because the smoothie, like I said, was just killing my stomach with all the fiber and everything that the basically the peels we're collecting. So we're gonna do a juicer for this one. And we have beets, we have celery, we have some carrots, we have lemon and lime, and cucumbers. Uh, we have, I wanna use the things that are the most uh, filled with water, obviously, to get the most out of the juicer. Uh, things like kale here is pretty wasteful because there's not a lot of fluid and liquid that's actually inside also of the it's better to buy the larger pieces of kale because yes, you're not going to get a lot out of this dry maybe little kale's tiny not a good idea. so you, if you really were into it you could juice everything first and then add the kale and the vitamix and blend the kale in after you juice it that's kind of a pain in the butt so here's what we're going to do and this is what it's going to look like so let's get started So this concoction is going to last two servings, unless my wife wants to share this with me, and her mother who's visiting. <laughs> you can have some juice with us? You never know. You never know. So as you guys can see, this would probably make about three gigantic juices, which at most green smoothie places, that's going to be like an $8 drink, because you saw how much uh, vegetables that we went through. 
but it's a lot of nutrition to extracting everything from the fiber. It's releasing all the nutrients that a lot of times that you bypass and your stomach will actually uh, basically excrete it without extracting all the nutrients because it's locked in the fiber. So this, uh, this is almost something that whenever you drink it, it's so nutrient rich and it gets in your bloodstream immediately. You can almost get an instant energy boost and feel almost like a, a, a little wake up surge, similar to like almost coffee. Is that okay? more? Uh, we'll do the, the little higher and not anymore. And then, guys, I'm also going to add as well to this my one scoop of palm fruit. I'm going to add it to my smoothie here, or my juice. And then the little secret MPA ingredient, which you guys don't know what it is yet, but this is going to be a general health product. I'm going to add to the supplement line. And it's going to be a very delicious sour apple flavor or a strawberry apple. Pretty exciting. It's, it's kind of an uncommon health food item in the supplement industry in my opinion. I don't see a lot of people using it, so we're going to release it here very soon. And uh, the flavoring so far so good. We're going to add it to this as well. It's only going to enhance the flavor. So this is it. Whenever you drink this, opposed to the smoothie from the Vitamix with all the fiber and the leaves and everything that gets, you know, that thickens it, oh my gosh, you will be detoxed the next day by going to the bathroom and it's not a fun experience. That's what I went through. Um, it's obviously more satiating because it has the fiber content and this will go right through you. Uh, but you will get a little bit of a pickup from this, and you also will get a diuretic effect too. I mean, you'll obviously be releasing fluid just from the celery and the cucumber and all that stuff. It's good for your heart, blood pressure. As you saw, it's very red. The beet will overpower the entire drink. And if you know anything about beets, if you do some research on great for nitric oxide, endothelial health, you name it, the deep redness obviously indicates the antioxidant content is super high. So that's, that's my final change. We went from the Vitamix to the actual juicer, which... You know, we finally brought this out. It was a wedding gift, and we never used it. And Rachel was getting a little frustrated because it's so expensive, and I asked for it. But we uh, were always relying on the Vitamix, but now we have a reason to use it, so we're happy. You're happy about that, right? You get to clean yes. it up now and clean up this big mess every night after I, after I mess all this up. That is true. So here you guys have it. The MPA juice concoction, and uh, it's not going to taste that good. You notice there's no fruit in it, so I'm going to add my normal sweetener the key lime or what have you because without it, let me try it without it not bad but not very good so I'll, the beets are very strong so I'm going to add of course the tang sweetener or key lime or whatever it is a little squeeze bottle and that'll be it so there you have it, there's the meal change